Hey Dane, back here for another video in our Explore XR22 toy hauler. And today I'm going to be installing a uh, Victron uh, DC to DC charger. So I got to do the wiring in the trailer uh, and the truck. And I'm going to show you some of the things I got to do this. So here's all the, everything I'm going to use to install the Orion um, Victron 12 volt, 12 volt DC charger, 30 amp. Uh, so I have, of course, the charger, uh, 60 amp circuit breaker, 60 amp fuse. Also have uh, crimp sleeves for the wire to go into the charger. We have Anderson connectors to go truck to the trailer. And then we have these assorted lugs here and shrink sleeves. We got mounting screws all stainless you see uh, we've got grommets to drill through the trailer frame to protect the wire we have uh, some uh, wire holders if i need to hold the wire on the side of the frame i can drill and then that'll hold the wire and i also have um, this anderson flush mount in the bumper if i want to use that weatherproof box haven't decided that yet uh, and then uh, i have the 30 foot a six gauge wire. So here we go in our uh, Victron 12 volt to 12 volt DC charger install and they tell me all of the components is in this box. So in the XR22 toy hauler, when you walk in the door, it'll be the box to the right. That's the one with the inverter in there. All right, we got the cover off. Now we're installing the six gauge positive and negative wire and there's a hole in the bottom right hand back side of the cabinet it's a existing hole pretty good size so didn't have to drill or do anything there uh, so if you have a toy hauler it is a hole where air can come through so you might want to seal that up and so here i am uh, running the wire it took just a little bit not not bad and so here we got the wire laid out and uh, drug out to the length i wanted here's a view looking down into the box with all the stuff in there what a mess all right now we're getting to the fun part of drilling the frame it's a box frame so you have to drill uh from both sides or drill all the way through two sides and it wasn't too bad. I had some brand new bits, so I started with, you know, small, about an eighth inch. This is the second step, and it took three steps of bits. Uh, it's small, then this medium bit, and then ended up with a, a half inch hole for the grommets for the uh, six gauge wire to go in. But uh, it actually went easier than I thought it was going to go. So not a bad deal, just took some time to to drill all of these holes. So two frame rails I had to drill through and then I end up drilling another smaller hole for the um, voltage sensing wire. That I right here just cleaning up the holes a little bit with a file so we can uh, get the rubber grommets in there. All right, here you see I'm underneath the trailer and I'm installing the grommets. If you've never installed grommets before, I can tell you lubrication is your friend. So I'm spraying some WD-40 on the grommet and then stuffing it in the hole. This side is pretty easy. You can stuff the grommets in there because there's no wire. Uh, but the other side, really, you can't put both grommets in. I tried and then tried to run the wire through uh, both of them. It'd be pretty tough. So hey, the, stick the wire through after this and then put the grommets in on the other side, which uh, putting the grommets in with the wire in the hole is uh, it's a pretty good job. So it's a just got to be patient and um and and get her done all right here i am uh, running the wire through the grommets pretty easy just make sure you know you have some lube on the grommets or the wire spray some wd-40 on like and then it goes pretty easy there at least on this side okay so i have the cable run into the trailer uh drilled holes in the frame uh two sections of it and I have it out to the tongue of the trailer. So let me show you that outside. Uh, so here's the wires out here uh, before I put covering on it, the Anderson connectors and all of that. So I'm just gonna leave that for now until I get the truck done. And then we'll see how this all mates up. But I wanted to show you the grommets that I used here. 
there they are, and it involves dr drilling uh, a half inch hole and then running uh, the wire through the grommets. Here's my cabinet, uh, and so here's what the the bottom cabinet. Now, I don't know if I showed this in an earlier video, but it is a I mean it's a mess in there. If you you can look at that, so uh, if you can already see, I have my positive made up and I have my 60 amp fuse here and then I have my negative cable going to the bus just sitting there ready uh, and look at all this crowded cabinet I could have mounted this maybe here but it was going to cut off some airspace I'm thinking for the inverter and stuff just give it plenty of room and I said you know what I'll just go to the cabinet above which let me let me see if I can back out here and get you a picture so that's what it looks like I have it on this wall here I'm fixing to make the connections going to the trunk and of course I'm um, not gonna make the ones going to the trailer itself right now until um, you know I go through and, and put the settings in the charger all right here's my voltage sensing lead coming from the truck which is hooked to uh, auxiliary switch number one in the truck so I'll be able to turn the charger on and off uh, from inside the truck just using my auxiliary switch uh, up on the uh, console. I guess that's it for now. I'm going to get all this hooked up and then I'll uh, come back around. We'll get the truck backed up to the trailer, get the Anderson connectors on, which shouldn't take too long, and then we'll um, try to go through the settings uh, with the app and set the charger up. Okay, we should have voltage. We got the uh, truck connected, got the Anderson uh, connectors put on there. Not quite finished with just dressing it up and everything on the truck and the trailer out there. Uh, but we should have voltage, so let's check on the input here. And I see we got a little blinking light there. So if we look at the voltmeter, we got 12.99 volts. So we have voltage back here. And the truck's not running. That's just straight off the battery sitting there. Uh, so we're good to go. Uh, the next thing is get the app, which I haven't, I don't think I've downloaded it yet. A Bluetooth connect to this thing. Get all the settings that I got from a, a fellow RVer. Thank you, John. And uh, program our smart charger before we connect it to uh, the trailer. And then after we uh, get that done, we can plug in our uh, wire that's coming from the auxiliary switch on the truck and then turn that on and see if we get to charging all right here's a screenshot of the victron app you can click on the app and it will search for your nearby victron devices and then stop when it finds your device in my case it's the orion smart charger click on the device on the screen to view the status screen and then you can see on the status screen my charger is off from the status screen, you can click on the gear in the upper right hand corner to view the settings screen. And the default is set up with a lithium battery profile. And after checking the settings, they were in line with what was recommended for my battery. Really a very easy process. Just make sure you know the settings for your battery before connecting to your system. Okay, it's getting kind of late. We have the charger hooked up. Uh, we just put all the settings in. Pretty much turned it on. The settings were there already. Uh, just for, set up for lithi lithium default and matches the settings that John gave me. Uh, so now I have my, you know, own wire to the auxiliary switch in there. Uh, and so it's saying it's not on right now. So now we're going to go and turn the auxiliary switch on and then see if um the charger starts charging like it should all right so i auxiliary switch number one right here it's kind of dark i'm sorry i'm i uh, turned my switch on and i should be charging so we're back in the uh, trailer and we can see the results uh, with the charger on uh we've got 29.6 amps flowing so good deal we're in business okay here's the final installation uh of the Orion, Victron Orion, uh, 12 volt to 12 volt, 30 amp DC to DC charger. Here's a shot from after our trip of use, and you can see Diane has a bunch of supplies in the cabinet. We keep there, and here's the charger, and it uh, got a little warm in there. We checked it, 
quite a few times and then quit worrying about it, but nothing to be concerned about. It worked great. All right, here at the end of the video, I thought I would just share a few pictures of the installation from underneath the trailer and the wires connected to the truck. And you can see the positive and negative along with the voltage sensing wire to activate the charger. So again, thanks for watching DJ2 living in wheel time. Like, share, follow.